What's going on? It's DJ here, bringing you another video. Today we're talking about Arrow. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as the last video that was actually posted probably a couple minutes before this one. I'm filming both in one day. Last night I was not feeling good, so I wasn't able to film the Flash review. Um, but tonight I'm doing both of them. And so we're going to be talking about the Arrow right now in this video. Last night's episode was called Draw Back Your Bow. It, was, it had a lot of things that just happened in it, which made me happy. Um, it was pretty freaking awesome. So, this is a girl named Carrie Cutter, and she's basically a copycat vigilante, but she's killing off people. She killed off Isaac's, uh, stuff. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, but, um, Wildcat's, uh, protege. Killed him and dressed him up as Arrow. And she, she basically is obsessed with, with, uh, Oliver, or Arrow. And, uh, it's because he saved her life, uh, a, a bit of time ago, and she tried She's trying to get his attention because uh, she's freaking crazy. Because um, that's the DC comic character Cupid. She's she's like that. She's just a nut job. So basically, that's what the whole entire episode is about. Oh, most of the episode is about. It's also about Oliver uh, really struggling with his feelings for Felicity and since she's getting closer to to Ray Palmer, and he doesn't like that. He just doesn't know how to show. He's like Batman. He's like he's Superman. Like this is Smallville all over again. He, he loves the girl, but he can't have the girl because he makes life hard for himself. Everyone's just trying to help him. Everyone's trying to make him understand that Felicity, she's there for you. But the thing is, you're making a mistake not being with her. Oliver, while he's juggling that, he's trying to find this, this girl. Uh, people die along the way, and then uh, he finally confronts her. Doesn't reciprocate the love. She tries to kill him, and he obviously owns her. Uh, doesn't kill her because he's not, uh, you know, he's a DC character, he don't really kill. And he has her move to be part of the Suicide Squad, which I think is, first off, I think that's awesome. And uh, I don't know how long that's going to last because she is a pretty loose cannon. I don't know if they're really going to be able to influence her to do any good. But the episode is really awesome. And we finally get more Ray Palmer in this episode and more Felicity. Felicity is just, oh really nice to look at and that dress and uh the 10 million dollar necklace that ray put on her god that guy is just straight balling but uh, i can't believe i just said that in a review but seriously ray palmer's awesome and we finally get to see his exo suit so maybe soon we get to see the adam helping arrow or, or joining team arrow that would be so amazing i just i'm just envisioning in my head all these things that could happen in the, the next coming seasons as, as long as they keep brendan ruth in it I think it should be really cool where they could really take the show because uh, I'm gonna keep bringing up Smallville in these shows because that was such a big part of me growing up watching that show and there's a bug flying around that's disgusting you better stay away from me I'm filming a video yeah but Smallville there's times where it got dry just like this show got a little bit for me uh, I think it was during season or mi middle of season one it kind of felt oh my god this this bug um, but Small went through a little bit of a dry spell for me, but I still continue to watch because I'm a big fan. Uh, when they introduced basically the Justice League, besides Wonder Woman and Batman, they had Aquaman, The Flash or Impulse, the younger version, Cyborg, and Green Arrow. I thought that, that just made the series a lot more uh, awesome. So the fact that these, these shows are doing it now really, really... You better get away from me because you're really annoying me. I'm, I'm trying to film here and you better... All right, so hopefully they do that Adam thing really soon. I mean, they already saw you already seen the suit, so I feel bad for Oliver because, but at the same time, I don't because he has all this love for him, you know. Uh, his sister's there, uh, Felicity's always there, John's there, uh, Roy's there, Laurel's there. Everyone's there supporting him, yet he always sh see, he always finds a way to shut him out uh, some, somehow, and I guess that's what every superheroes flaw is is to just is thinking that if you push people away they'll be safer but sometimes that's not the case sometimes you need to tell them the truth in order to keep them safe so I, I felt bad in a way that he saw his girlfriend for about three episodes be with Ray but the thing is that's what happens when you don't open your mouth and open your heart everyone was pretty much trying to tell him that but he was being a hard ass the whole episode and I, I understand why he's like that, but at the same time, I think he should really learn to be open to things. So, 
Woo! And did that ending have me freaking jumping out of my seat when I was watching it? I'm going to talk. Like I said, these are always going to contain spoilers, these things, because we recap the episodes, we talk about what's going to happen. That's just the way it is. Sometimes people just like talking about that stuff. So, the next episode, I'm hoping, is going to be based on it, because I didn't actually see a trailer for the next episode. It was actually for the Arrow vs. Flash, which I had already talked about in the previous video, so uh, you guys can check it out there. At the very end of this episode, you see a guy uh, in an alley who kills this Asian dude with a boomerang. That's Captain Boomerang! Woo! Uh, that was pretty gruesome, though, the way he did kill the dude. Uh, that's just... That's wrong, but I cannot wait to see uh, how Oliver faces off with him. It's just like all these, just all these characters just coming out of the woodwork is just freaking epic. And I don't know, I, I like I said in the last video, I think in the Flash versus Arrow, I think that Barry might be under the influence of Miracuru. And I'd like to know what you guys think. But like always. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!